Hey, 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 everyone, what's going on? This is Barbara from Inspire Paper and Designs. Today, in this short video, I'm going to show you how to use the prompts that I have created in my new prompt guides in order to generate images that you can feel free to use in order to make money online. So if you go to ChatGPT, and I have the address listed here, and I strongly recommend that you use ChatGPT version 4, which is the paid version. You can use 3.5, but the output may not be the same. Also, you may have to ask more questions. So I strongly recommend version 4. I will leave a link below in order for you to sign up for 30 days for free to try it out. However, in ChatGPT4, if you when you purchase my prompt guide, you can just go ahead and copy and paste the prompt guide inside, which I um, am showing you now. I already saved it. And then you just go ahead and you run it. If you see right, if you can see right here, Dolly 3, E3, I'm sorry, is who ChatGPT is connected with in order to produce the images. You want to make sure that if you plan on monetizing them, that you only use Dolly 3 in chat gpt if you decide to take this and use it outside of this i strongly recommend that you read the terms of use in order to make sure that you're not violating any of their uh any of their licenses so it is still creating the image and if you look and see these are gorgeous so as you can see, it did produce the same image um, with some slight variations to it. One of the great things that I want you guys to notice is once you purchase my prompt and input it into the system, when you generate these images, if you click on the image, you'll see over here that it actually generates another prompt. So for each one, there's a new prompt. And the beauty in that is that you can take that prompt, click copy, go back, paste it, and let's see what images are generated from there. Another cool thing while that is working, another cool thing I want to show you is that you can click on here to download. And one of the good things I've noticed when I've downloaded the images, some of them do show up as um, transparent backgrounds. I don't, it wasn't for all of them, but some of them are already transparent, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna go here just so that you can see what the image looks like. There it is. So as you can see, here's the image. And one thing that I want to take notice of, if you go right here, where is it at? Information or, or I, you'll see it's a PNG and you'll also see the image size, which is 1024 by 1792 pixels, which is approximately three inches by, I think five inches, if I'm not mistaken. I'll do the calculations real quick. I'll do 1024. And it looks like it'll be about approximately 3.4 inches and then the 7, 1,792 is approximately 5.97. So that gives you a nice digital sticker that you could easily sell and um, list and sell online. If you decide that you want to upscale it, you can definitely do so as well. I'll create another video if you guys want me to showing you how you can upscale it. But this size is still good in order for you to use, um, like I said, as a digital sticker. Um, and maybe some other physical products that doesn't require the image to be stretched larger than this. So I'm going to go back and see if it generated the other images. And as you can see, it did change it slightly. But another good thing that you could do is actually with that image that we just, that prompt that we just used, I'm going to go ahead and paste that. You can also use it as a um, base prompt in order to change it and make it something different. So right here, if you still want it to be like this particular style, you may leave 
the beginning part, but instead of maybe vol vol voluminous, bouncy curls, maybe you'll say with, maybe we'll say long, beautiful, sorry about that. Intricately designed box braids. And then where it says uh, showcasing her chic fall fashion, you may want to keep that there and then maybe change up what she's wearing. So maybe instead of an olive green sweater, let's say that she's wearing, wears a gorgeous pink top. Maybe keep the black tights or maybe we'll say um, black wide leg. Jeans, high heel boots. Maybe we'll change this to shoes and we'll say matching. We'll say with matching high heel shoes and a complimentary hat. Let's leave the hat, but I think I also want to wear glasses. So I'm mean, going add, add glasses. You could say she accessorizes. this outfit with fashionable, we'll say high fashion glasses. High fashion, I like cat eye, so let's say cat eye glasses. And then she stands with a blend of cuteness and confidence holding her favorite coffee. So maybe we'll say holding her favorite can bag. So you see what I did there? I took the, um, and I took the first, I used the prompt that I initially, that you would initially purchase. You got these images. I clicked on the image and copied that prompt. And then I still got similar images, as you can see with slight variations. And then you can always Again, use that prompt, and if you you want to change it up, you would just take it and just change a few things about it. So we're going to go ahead and do that and see what it produces. And like I said, I'm using ChatGPT version 4, so you can always click the link below underneath this video in order to try it for free for 30 days. Um, the cost at the time of this video is approximately $20, but I promise you that uh, that you can do uh, so much more and definitely make enough money. Well, I don't want to say I promise you that if you're consistent with it, you can definitely cover the cost of using chat GPT when it comes to selling products that you can make, digital products that you can make with that for an online business. So we're going to give it a few minutes so that it can generate the image. If I need to pause the video and come back, I'll do so because I don't want this to take up too much time. Oh, and there we have it. All right. So here you have the different images that's listed. And if you click on one, again, it gives you um, a slight variation to the original prompt. As you can see here, it says includes a vibrant pink top, black wide leg jeans, matching high heel shoes. So it does changes it slightly. But if you notice, all of them, they do have, um, it's more than one image um, included per picture frame, for lack of a better phrase. So I'm going to do a part two video where I show you how you can take this particular picture, upload it into Canva, and actually create and actually generate two separate images from the one picture that was generated. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them off below. And thank you guys for purchasing my prompt guide. The link to my shop so that you can purchase additional prompts will be listed below. All right, guys, until the next video.